Hey guys, MC Gurkers here with my first ever video on the Neo Network Skyblock server. This is my first video in a series of many explaining the intricate details in what has become my favorite server I have ever played in the past 6 years. The best part is how new the server is, being released only a few days ago. Link in description if you want to join us and play on what I'd like to say is the best Skyblock server to date. Regardless, that isn't the point of the video. This video will go in detail about the creation of one of the best cobblestone generators I've seen to date that no one has been making or using. It's super efficient, super easy to make, and best of all, stackable, which means its length can be increased infinitely with almost no cost. Now the best part is how easy this is to create, like literally just the stuff my inventory is really all I need to make the entire thing. So for the side blocks, like the general blocks, you want to use wood because when you have like super breaker and like high efficiency pickaxes, what happens is you tend to break this stuff around by mistake and you don't want to actually make the water touch a lot on the inside or you'll have issues. Then for a place order holder, you can put cobblestone here and then up top you put your stairs. So we'll have one stair here and one stair here. Make sure, and it's very important, that the stairs point inwards. If they don't point inwards, the water will actually leak out the ends. And the only way you can fix it is by putting a block out here or a sign. And it's just it's just a waste and doesn't look very good. Um, From here, you want to put more blocks. You want to use wood to make sure you don't actually break it. And then you want to make sure you block off the sides. So right here, that way the lava doesn't flow out. Then you go back up the top. And you want to grab your lava and place it on the inside. And then make sure, don't forget, make sure you cover it. Because what will happen is the water will be on these two. And if it's not covered, it'll touch the lava and make um, obsidian. Which is a mistake I made earlier. And it's not fun to have to deal with. So then you're going to place the two waters. And then, well, I mean, like that's it. Like, you can now break. And as the water flows down, it will touch the lava. You're going to see I got an iron there because I have pretty high level um island upgrades and you can just break straight through and there'll be no issues if i go on oh, this side you see it's also breaking on the other side so it's breaking both sides which is like super super efficient now the best part about all this is well that, that was pretty simple like it's two blocks not very efficient what's the point of that well the good part is that this is as i said infinitely stackable it's really easy to replicate what you just did here all the way down as you see that's whatever there like you can get so much out of it to the point that you can mine non-stop without any fault or whatsoever as long as you're holding left click so we're going to teach you right here how to expand it so first you want to do the base so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to make it five long because five is like max reach anyway so you can do the entire thing all the way through so we're going to do five long i need some stairs actually let me just make some so we're going to do five long and we're just going to increase it from there. So right here, what we're going to do is I'm going to grab placeholder blocks, which usually should be cobblestone. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and we're going to do five to make sure it's five long. Then we're going to also go here. One, two, three, four. Actually, it's going to be, I didn't include that one. So it's going to be right there. And then in here is where the water goes. So now if I break this out, what will happen is the water will flow all the way through. Another good thing about this is you actually don't need all the blocks to be source blocks. So what I can do here is block this, break this, and there will be no drop in efficiency for the entire thing. Actually, wait, yeah, it's... So it'd be... Here... So yeah, there'll be no drop in efficiency for the entire thing. You can go all the way through and there'll be no issues. So now I want to make sure I cover this up so I don't actually make obsidian. And then go ahead and place these. Now, as I said, I usually put stairs at the end just because it looks beautiful. Just to have them and then go all the way back through. Now you want to break this and you don't have to worry about it hitting anything. It doesn't matter. It won't touch the... As long as you haven't broken anything, it shouldn't touch the lava. And then you can do this. And this will create the entire thing all the way through. So now what you can do is easily just like a water bucket. I should have some spare water buckets right here. Here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I grabbed some more water buckets, but really all you need is two. Because then I can just do this. And actually, I could have just moved that one and brought it over, but it's fine. And then just like that. The entire thing is done. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually made it one more than I had to, but it doesn't matter. And remember not to put them at the ends because that doesn't really do anything. It'll just flow out. 
but well that that's really it like now you can just literally sit here and just mine infinitely like you can just go all the way through there's no issues and you can mine all the way through the best part about this though is what happens if you can put on super breaker is you can do something like this and just consistently break the entire thing all the way through getting two rows down it's super super good you get a shit load of blocks and it's 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 that's that's really like look like, like it's non-stop and just like the little span i'm almost like like it's crazy how much you can get just by doing that now, another good thing about this is, like many good things in life, this is entirely automated. Like, as you see, if I do slash settings, you're going to see there's a setting called feet drops, meaning whenever I break a drop, break a block, the drop falls straight to my feet. So if you look, it's actually falling straight below me. So what you can do, actually, is let's say I break these blocks. I can put a chest down or an auto chest. Oh, God, let me see if I can. Good thing I have. Don't worry about him. I can put an auto chest down, place a hopper, and then let's say my entire inventory is filled. Let's say I'm, I'm watching a video, I don't notice. You sit right in the middle, you hold left click, you just vibe, you watch your video, you do literally anything else. And it doesn't matter. Like, this isn't something additively you have to do. This isn't something of, like, extra benefit. This is just something you can do separately when you don't want to pay attention, when you don't want to go ahead, when you don't want to hold W and automatically do what you need to do. And everything will drop straight into the chest. So it's entirely AFKable. You can eat your dinner while you're holding left click. You can watch videos. You can do your homework. It's entirely automated with no issues whatsoever. Now, the best part about this is how infinite it can really be. Like... I can make the entire thing run straight through my entire base. Like, I have from one side running straight to the other side. And it's consistent. It's repeatable. It never messes up. As you see, there's wood below. That way, it doesn't break anything. And what I can most importantly do is, let's say I have Super Breaker on. I can just mow through this. Like, on both sides, I can mow through the entire thing. I can just mine consistently. As you see, I'm actually breaking two blocks at a time. Like, I'm also breaking the one in the back. And let's say I was to make, like, another gen right next to it. I believe I could, in theory, get up to three blocks at a time with no issue. As you see, I'm getting so much. I'm moving so fast. I'm breaking so much that I can actually keep up with picking up all the items. So it's actually better to, like, double back around. That way you can pick up everything. And just in, what was that? That was, like, about 10 seconds. Like, just 10 consistent, maybe 15 seconds of just holding left click, just nonstop all the way through with Super Breaker on. I made, let's see. I only slash feed. I made a total of $11,000. And that's just from one light goes straight through. No issues, just one goes straight through, you make $11,000. If you keep doing this, for instance, like let's say I was to just keep breaking consistently all the way through, my haste pickaxe all the way through. Like, let's count about like 15 seconds. I like, get the general idea of like about how much I was doing when I was with Super Breaker. And always make sure you double back like halfway through maybe. What I think would be good is if you had like another person. Let's say you had like a two or a three man. You guys just rotate all the way around with each other. That way you can pick up the drops that your friends drop in behind you. Because when you get like haste and efficiency. You start moving so fast that you can't actually pick up the blocks in time. Another thing that I actually do sometimes is I turn off feet drops. That way they drop in front of me. And I just immediately pick it up. But what happens is especially with Super Breaker on. Is they'll fall to the other side sometimes. And I won't be able to. Also. Also, sometimes if they um the you go too slow and the block like falls over you you'll end up like this and you might end up breaking the blocks underneath you which causes issues because without like the feet drops on it drops into the void and it's just annoying but you just like mine up and you can fix it as long as you're paying attention it should be fine and this is entirely if cable you just hold w you hold left click you watch a video you do nothing more and you just rotate around every once in a while but if you don't have like haste and efficiency you can actually just consistently pick all these up go all the way through with no issues whatsoever like like just it's just consistent and haste proc sometimes you just get like a crazy amount and just with the time i was talking i made sixteen thousand. that just the time i was talking nothing more nothing less just consistently walking through for reference i have uh, tier four generators 
so if you have higher tiers you can get more lower tiers can get less it's different it changes and in theory if i was to put all of my ores into the smelteries i have i could actually get even more out if i turn the ores into blocks and get even more out it, it's crazy good and crazy efficient and to be honest, I think everyone should have just something like this on their island because it's so easy to make, it's so quick to make, and it is helpful for both lower levels, higher levels, anyone. As long as you're mining, this is probably one of the most efficient ways to do it, period. Alright guys, thank you for your time. Really happy you guys could enjoy this video. Keep in mind that this can be made on any server that has like cobblestone generators, any skyblock related thing whatsoever, but it's incredibly efficient on your network just because you can get the haste and there's like the feet drops and all these stuff. So if you're on your network, definitely make sure you make this cobblestone generator. It's super good, super efficient. Make sure you point the stairs inwards. That's very important. But if you're on other servers, feel free to make it as well. It's really awesome. A little quick tidbit is, of course, the server link to Neo Network will be in the description just because it's a really awesome server. I love it very much. I'm probably going to be playing it nonstop for a good while. And I'd love to see you guys on it. I'd love to, like, meet people, make some friends. It'll be a really great experience for all of us, I'm pretty sure. Another thing I should mention is I'm actually working on a wiki for the server. It's a really complicated server. There's a lot to it. And the devs are trying their gosh hardest to make this server, like, it's incredible. You'll make like a bug report and it'll be fixed the next day and they'll add new features. Envoys wasn't working the first day. They're working now. They have wave defensive, a bunch of like different things that you can do. That's just incredibly amazing. Like hands out to the devs are doing a great, a splendid job. And I know they won't have time to make. Uh, well, awesome. <laughs> And I know they won't have time to like make these, like the wiki, make the information because they're going to be changing a lot, adding a lot. It's going to be a lot of information to take in. So I'm happy to spend that time to make the wiki. And if you guys want to help me, feel free. The link will be in the description. Also have that information in the description if you need to use the wiki yourself. There's pages on, on masteries, on minions, on servants, on all sorts of things. I'm probably going to make like a getting started page. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to. It'll be in the description. And well, I, I'm i not used to these outros, but th thank you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Happy you guys waited all the way through. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.